If you're still worried that we're a couple of months away from AI becoming sentient, taking over the world, and deciding that we're not necessary components of existence anymore, then it's clear you still haven't tried using it. What are you waiting for? Go ask ChatGPT a question right now. I'll wait. Anyway, noise around the rise of the machines is taking attention away from a very real problem we have with AI right now bias, and it could cost our industry billions, with a B. <music> Business leaders have become more concerned about AI bias over the last two years, according to a report from data analytics company DataRobot. And it's not just about damaging brand reputation, either. Of those surveyed, the largest percentage 62% said they lost revenue as a consequence. Another 61% lost customers. Indeed, in September 21, Gartner identified responsible AI, including fairness, transparency, and auditability of AI technologies as one of the four trends driving near-term AI innovation. Now, you may be saying to yourself, bias in AI? How is that possible? Aren't they just machines? And you're not wrong. It's true that generative machine learning and other AI-powered technologies are, at the end of the day, just machines. However, these machines have been programmed by human beings. And when a human engineer is writing code or choosing data to feed an algorithm, it's possible to impart unconscious bias or the biases of society into that code or algorithm. And there are many good examples of this already happening in the world. Or maybe good's not the right word for it. Like in 2018, when Amazon discovered that a tool it had created to fill engineer roles for the organization was discriminating against women because the tool was evaluating potential candidates against a cache of on-file resumes, which were submitted predominantly by males. Because women were underrepresented in those roles in the past, the AI thought it meant that men were the preferred candidates. Or in 2019, when AI being deployed by US hospital systems to help predict patient needs rejected black patients for the care they needed based on existing biases in the overall health system. These are but two examples, but it's not hard to see how this could easily snowball without the proper guardrails in place. And when it comes to AI bias, it's not just concerns about what's morally right or wrong that need to be considered. So, even if you're a Luddite and have very limited knowledge of AI technology, you still have a vested interest to ensure that it's implemented in a responsible way at your business. Here then are six ways to combat bias in AI throughout the development, deployment, and monitoring stages, even if you're someone who has trouble navigating TikTok. Number one, use diverse and representative data from reputable sources. Marketers can collaborate with data scientists to ensure that the training data they use to develop AI is diverse and representative of the target audience. This includes considering different demographics, geographic locations, and cultural backgrounds to avoid underrepresentation and skewed data. The data source itself must also be evaluated to ensure there are no unseen biases, just like we saw with the Amazon example. Number two, regularly audit and update models. Marketers can work closely with data scientists to regularly audit AI models for biases. This involves monitoring the performance of the system across different demographic groups and identifying any unfair biases or disparate impacts. If biases are detected, Adjustments can be made to the algorithm or training data to address the issues. Number three, establish ethical guidelines and standards. Marketers can collaborate with cross-functional teams to establish ethical guidelines and standards for AI development and deployment. These guidelines should emphasize fairness, transparency, and accountability in AI systems. Marketers can also ensure that these guidelines align with legal requirements and industry regulations. Number four, deploy user feedback and testing. Marketers can actively seek user feedback and conduct thorough testing of AI systems before and after deployment. 
By involving diverse user groups and collecting their feedback, marketers can identify biases and unintended consequences that may have been overlooked in the development phase. This iterative approach helps in refining models and reducing bias over time. You'll also get bonus points by involving your customers in part of the business, helping to develop that two-way brand consumer relationship that can be so valuable. Number five, drive education and awareness. Marketers can raise awareness about the potential biases in AI systems among their teams and stakeholders. By fostering an understanding of bias, marketers can encourage discussions and knowledge sharing around the ethical implications of AI. This can lead to more informed decision-making and proactive steps to mitigate bias in AI. Number six, collaborate with AI experts. Marketers should collaborate closely with AI experts, data scientists, and ethicists to gain a deeper understanding of the technical aspects of AI and its potential biases. This collaboration can help marketers develop strategies to effectively address bias and make informed decisions about AI implementation. And I know we usually say that you don't need to be a tech expert about everything, but this area is worth a deep dive because it's not going anywhere. By actively considering and addressing bias in AI, marketers can contribute to the development of more fair and inclusive technology, which benefits all users. And you don't need an algorithm to figure out that's a good thing for your brand and society at large. For the Marketing Futures Podcast, I'm Mike Berberich.